earned value management. What is earned value management? If you want to understand that, this is the video. I'm going to explain you what is earned value management or the amount of money spent, what is the value earned from the project. And then you'll understand what is cost variance, what is scheduled variance, what is cost performance index, what is scheduled performance index. When do you say a project is ahead of schedule based on the indexes or the values of the schedule? When do you say a project is behind the schedule based on the indexes or the values of the schedule? And then when do you say the project is under budget? When do you say you have got more money? When do you say your project is over budget? When do you say it's less money based on the indexes and the variance? All of this I'm going to record in this video. I'm also going to solve a problem using a five page website development wherein there is an issue. You'll see what happens when the actual cost is going up and the planned value or the earned value is less. What happens when the variance comes in? When do you use the contingency reserve? When do you use the management reserve to address this problem? Watch this video till then for the next 15 minutes to understand the entire problem. This is a whiteboard video. I'm kind of using my iPad and writing on things for you. Pay attention. You learn a lot about earned value management. It's very important for your PMP examination. Let's get started. Earn value management, important concept for your PMP examination. In this video, we will try to understand what is earned value management, what are the different variances and indices you need to track. We will also see a graph and solve a problem on earned value management. Hang on with me. I will try to make it as simple as possible for you so to understand this concept and answer a few questions on PMP examination. So, what is earned value management? Earned value management is like for the amount of money we have invested, okay, is the work on track, okay. Let's say you invested 100 rupees for $100 to do something. Did the work done was equivalent to $100, okay. Now, did we earn value from this work? Did we earn some value out of this work, okay. Or we paid the money and nothing was done. Nobody likes that, right. Okay, so what so it is stacked against three important one is the cost schedule and the scope, right? So we're doing the cost and then we're tracking the schedule and then you're tracking the scope. Okay, so these three things we are tracking in the earn value management. Now, when tracking these three things, we take care of the quality also. That's called the triangle. The triple constraint triangle. So, what are you tracking from the time cost and scope? We are tracking towards the baselines. Okay, so this baseline is the performance measurement baseline when all three of taken performance measurement baseline. Baseline. Okay. So these things are there. So performance measurement baseline. Let me write that neatly for you. Performance measurement baseline measurement okay it takes the baseline of cost schedule and scope you're measuring these three things and tracking the work done so on value management compares the baselines we are just ensuring that are we on track are we on track right so are we on track for the project execution basically it's helping you track the health of the entire project that's what earned value management does. Okay. Now there are some important terms you need to know for earned value management. Okay. Which will help you understand this concept nicely. So these terms PV is called as planned value, EV is the earned value, AC is the actual cost, BAC is the budget at completion. Planned value is the estimated value of the work planned. Okay. So also known as budget cost of the work scheduled. Okay, so here the schedule is turned into cost. Okay, so estimated value of the work plan. Let's say you plan to do oh, work for two days, which is close to two hundred dollars, right? So the planned value is like two hundred dollars for two days of work. Estimate value of the work done, right? The earned value. Now you have planned for two days work for two hundred dollars. Now did you earn that value, right? So did you actually do two hundred dollar work work in two days, right? So this is your earned value plan was say $200. Now in case, let's say there was an issue and the person fell ill and you took a half a day, second day, 
your earned value is just say from 50 percent on the second day so you did work for just 150 dollars so total is like 150 dollars so your plan value was 200 earned value is 50 dollars you're still losing or 50 dollars right actual cost okay now plan value was 200 dollars earned value was 150 actual cost the person has taken the entire money so let's say he's taken the full 200 dollars from you and the output was just worth 150 dollars which is not a great thing okay so the actual cost is more so it's actually a loss of 50 dollars for you right loss of 50 dollars right dollar 50 is a loss a loss of dollar 50 okay so that's that's the whole idea of earned value management okay you plan something you planned it for like 200 dollars of work to be done but you were able to just do 150 dollars of work and now but you had to pay the entire money of 200 dollars okay here so there's a loss of 50 dollars for you right there's a loss of 50 dollars okay now to do the entire work for two days you had some budget so the budget was like 200 dollars that is budget at completion okay so these are the basic terms plan value earned value actual cost budget to completion now having these things in basic understanding of these things there are a couple of things solutions you can or problems you can do okay so before i go to the problem i want you to understand two points okay one is called as variance one is called as index variance is what something's varying it's like changing right changing okay let's say you plan as i told you plan for like 200 dollars okay but you were able to just 150 dollars so the variance is 50 dollars right that's variance similar thing can be also done on the index okay so indexing is like the ratio of the same thing okay it is a ratio index is ratio okay so this is a numerator by denominator so index is a ratio variance you have got a minus sign okay now things to remove for pmp examination this jargon is important if something if you're talking about a schedule right sv is schedule variance sp is schedule performance index now if the schedule variance is positive if it is positive okay you are ahead of the schedule if it is negative you are behind the schedule okay simple terms variance is positive you are ahead of the schedule variance is negative you are behind the schedule now let's go to the cost part of it similarly cost variance is like cv now if the cost variance is positive okay if the cost variance is positive you are under budget if the cost variance is negative okay if the cost variance is negative you are again over budget you have got less money if the cost variance is positive you are like under budget negative you're over this i have put a problem over here of five page website development project five page website development project okay so in front of you you can see these things okay let me just put it over here you have got the uh, pages done day one day two so day one day two day three day four day five pages done on day one day two day three day four okay these are all planned values right okay five so that's how they have planned now the value of the work plan was like 100 dollars each day day one day two day three day four actual work now when you're doing the actual work day one yes 100 dollar work was done day 200 dollar work was done but day three actual cost that happened sorry this actual cost the person has charged more probably a senior person has come okay he's charging you 200 dollars okay so on day three you are charged like 200 dollars let me just put it over here so okay okay so on day three, two hundred dollars is what is charged for you. Okay, let me just move this to the side. Okay. Okay. So actual cost on day three is more, and then you have got uh, day four earned value, but the amount of work done is still less. It's just four hundred dollars. Though a senior guy has come, probably he's come late. You have, the person who is supposed to not come, other guy has come late, half a day late, but is charging you more money. So this is the earned value. Now, if I have to plot this on the graph, okay, that's what I wanted to show you all. Okay, so let's plot the plan value first. So plan value was, okay, let me just start to use this so that it's easier for you to. Okay. Yeah. 
okay most approximate something yeah? so plan value on day one we had planned for like 100 also work to be done this is the days these are the days this is the days part we have yeah, this is the cost okay now on day one we had planned 100 dollars of work on day two 200 dollars of work day three 300 day four 400 day five 500 this is my plan value Nine. okay now actual cost okay so actual cost on day one for hundred dollars okay so we spend like hundred dollars of the work actual cost is also hundred dollars so there's nothing to worry for me so it's on the same thing no problem earned value is also the same okay so hundred dollars no problem now this is done day two again i put hundred dollars so hundred two hundred becomes cumulative becomes two hundred okay this cumulative is like 400 cumulative is like 500 okay now cumulatively now on the day two it's all the same so the actual cost okay and the earn value is also the same let me use a different color for earn value okay on day four on day four the actual cost has shot up okay so sorry let me use this color one day four the actual cost is shot up to 400 dollars okay but the earned value is still just 300 dollars only okay now if you see this there is some gap now if i plot it like this it's going like this only for the actual cost it's going like this like this now it's here there's an issue now there is this gap there's a variance now okay so now cost variance cost variance is what earned value minus actual cost earned value is over here is 300 actual cost is 400 which is equal to minus 100 so if the variance is negative okay the cost variance cv is negative then what is it it is over budget if it is negative it's over budget you have worried about it now okay that's how we calculate it now can i still complete the project for that I need more money we, that's a different concept for two complete performance index now for the next day he again goes and he oh, puts in 100 more dollars so the work gets done on day 4 okay uh, actual cost is coming over here okay and uh, plan value is there over here okay but still you see now the money is over budget at completion is 500 dollars is all completed done now but the amount the earned value is just hundred dollars uh, hundred dollars is just four hundred dollars is what we have earned from here okay so that's an issue now now there's still hundred dollars of work left but you don't have the money that's a problem okay so you're over budget so during the third day only okay we should take a decision do i have some reserves we studied about these concepts in estimating uh, right do I have any contingency reserve? Contingency reserve. Did I have extra hundred dollars? If yes, then I'll use that. Okay, I didn't have the money. Let me go and take money from my boss. You take the decision on day three. Yeah, then go to management reserves. Okay. Manage management reserves. Okay. So these things you have to know okay so this is about the uh, earn value management okay i've told you important concepts schedule variance cost variance okay schedule variance schedule performance index cost variance cost performance index the schedule variance is positive it is good but it's negative it is behind the schedule if cost variance is positive is under budget if it's negative is over budget you have got less money cost for scale performance index is positive you're ahead of schedule scale performance is negative you're behind the schedule similarly cost performance index is positive you're under budget cost performance index is negative you're over budget remember these important concepts for your pmp examination i wish you all the best please do like share subscribe channel this is aram faraz bye bye